follow me on Twitter if you can, Citizen Pete 101 on Twitter, also on Instagram and on Facebook, and of course, right here on YouTube if that's where you're watching this video. I actually stream to a couple of different sites, apparently even Twitch, even though I don't, I don't really look at the Twitch stuff as much. But yeah, uh, yeah, subscribe to me on uh, all those outlets, and uh, yeah, I'd love to bring you some more political content. So, Candace Owens has a book to do book to sell so she's doing what she does best attacking black people first she made the claim that Meghan markle isn't black enough yes black enough to face discrimination and uh she's not good at playing the victim because she's now telling everybody that she was suicidal because of bad press, it's because of racism, even though she's not even, you know, you look at her, you would not be able to discern just by looking at Meghan Markle that she's black. And it has to do with a typical leftist progressive in Hollywood seeing something traditional and then saying, you know what, that thing has history, that thing has tradition, and I'm gonna call it racist. And I have the grounds to call it racist because as Meghan Markle is, I'm 25% black. And my son, by the way, if you've seen a picture of Archie and you believe that he has suffered and anti-black racism, then I'm a Nigerian prince and give me your credit card Listen, details. I would, I, and I, I mean, it's, it's Candace, so ridiculous. I would like to think. So my favorite part about that clip is even Sean Hannity's like, oh shit. Ah shit, you just said that on my show. Ah shit. Like, he can kind of hell, he's like, he tell he's just like, ah, uh, you know, look, we're, we're crazy at Fox News, but we're not that, we're not, we're not saying who's black and who's not black. That's just, you know, even he's kind of a little freaked out over that one. And now, uh, because, again, she's got a book to sell, uh, you know, Candace Owen is attacking Carter B. over the hit song, WAP. W-A-P. I'd say the name of the song, but my mom watches this channel. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, here we go feels more sinister. This is starting to me to seem like it's not even left or right. It's not a political issue. This seems like an attack on American values, American traditions, and you're actually actively trying to make children aspire to things that are grotesque. This is not about diversity anymore, Tucker. It's about perversity. No. We are celebrating perversity in America. Again, we are weakening America. That's, that's really what we should be talking about. This is a weakening of American society. We are setting the stage, and it feels like we are looking at corrosion like we are about to see the end of an empire america cannot survive it cannot be right. sustained under these sorts of values and principles and again even tucker carlson there's like ah shit this one bat shit crazy i mean just look on look on like the look on his face it's like oh shit uh i mean sometimes y'all he always looks a little confused but even then he's like all right let me get this we're talking about wap not wmd like how is this a threat to the united states of america uh, yeah. And, you know, honestly, what's worse for, for women's rights? A political party that's pretty brazen about their belief that women belong in the kitchen, or a song about wet-ass pussies. Fine, I said it. Mom will be fine. I just pray to God she doesn't see this video and bring it up later, because that is one conversation I do not want to have. So Candace wants to go on about racism and sexism as if she isn't a white troll in a black body. If you saw Candace Owens' profile, if Candace Owens' uh, Twitter profile didn't have a picture, you'd think she was a white nationalist. Candace Owens really is Clayton Bigsby, if he wasn't blind. The only reason you're, you know, you she's so popular is she is a beard for racist white people. Now, if you're unfamiliar with uh, LGBTQ culture, a beard allows you to pretend to be straight, even though everyone knows you're super gay. So, Candace Owens says a lot of horrible shit about black people, and she makes it okay for white people to do the same. I mean, there's a reason why uh, Sean Hannity and Tucker Carlson booked Candace Owens to discuss those topics. Uh, even though they seemed a little like, ah, shit, she kind of she went there. I mean, they were probably hoping she would point out something about how black is Meghan Markle or say something crazy about, you know, WAP, like... And they also realize, okay, well, I'm a white guy. I can't say anything about it. Uh, let's bring on Candace Owens and, uh, you know, have her say some crazy shit. And she delivered. And people could say, oh, it's, it's not racist. It's Candace Owens said it, you know. So, again, uh, I asked the question, who is causing more harm to black women? Cardi B rapping about, you know, what kind of, uh, you know, what kind of sex she likes. Hey. Nothing wrong about that. That's empowering. Or is it Candace Owen giving cover to racist, sexist dudes who can't handle the song?
I mean, I thought the uh, I thought the old conservative thing was all right. If you don't like it, just just don't listen to it, or just don't watch it. Apparently, that doesn't apply to WAP. And when it comes to Meghan Markle not being black enough, I think I can speak for all my black brothers and sisters when I say we demand that Candace Owens return her black card so we can give it to Meghan Markle. Because if there's one thing that unites all black peoples, it's fighting racism so our kids don't have to deal with that shit. And apparently, Candace Owens didn't get that memo. Or she decided a paycheck was more important. But yeah, let me know what you think about Candace Owens. Uh, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this, especially that, you know, Meghan Markle's not black. I mean, come on, give me a break. Don't get me wrong. So I've seen pictures and maybe she isn't, uh, you know, is it the, the the darkest person in the world? But hey, I mean, that's uh, that's some pretty, uh, pretty crazy shit to claim that she's not she's not black enough to be discriminated against. Uh, yeah, that is some grade A bullshit right there. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for watching Citizen Pete. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, click that little subscribe button, maybe the like button, and hey, maybe, maybe just leave a comment. You know, I want to know what you're thinking. What do you think about all politics, news, and all the stuff that's going on in our country?